Well, hi folks, uh, I've got you put one of the pipe clips on for you to show you it's done. The one clip, one bolt, one nut, one washer. There's a slight sting in the tail here. Let me put my tools down. We put this through here. That's it. And we do put, put the washer aside for the moment too. Then we put. Screw the bolt on. This is good and well. Just get a slight tighten with the. It's not quite through all the way, let's get it properly. Now that takes it in as far as it will go. That's pretty tight. That's untight here, screwed in here. Now because that head of that bolt disappears in there, it won't obstruct the axle when I put it through. But there, at the moment, I now have this sticking out. So what I'll do, I'll take that off, I'll just do this one for you because we've we done all the same thing. Right. Junior Axer, now if I take that off neatly as best I can, and I'm not too happy with that one. There's got to be an easy way in all of this. I'm enjoying myself. now because you'll notice this is still protruding all right we don't really want that so let's take a hold of it let's just use this manual do it good and proper I'll remember I'm right handed for the screwdriver Let's clamp this guy on. A bit more. A bit more. Now, let's move this side. I'll turn it around for you. And let's unscrew it. That's just good nut off. If we had left it that way, we would still have a rough edge because of the nut. So what we'll do is we put reverse this, the bolt so the head is out. But before we put it out, we want to try and do a nice finish. We'll put smooth washer on. Right? There's no sharp edges left there at all. Put our pipe clip back in. Our bolt, which we'll have to release here. But it should go on quite well now because we took it off. 
crack second day. Looking too silly. There you have it. Clipped in. No problem. <laughs> Says he. Right. What I want to do now, if I can, is this one being right handed? I want to put this Jubilee clip and this washer hard up against here to stop this moving back the way. Let's go back where we were. We got a proper screwdriver. <laughs> this is a star screwdriver. This is slotted. Follow me and don't look silly. Come on. Right, we're back Let's in go. the cut. Still a workshop. With some comfort from a chair store for the young boy next door, neighbour. Kindly leave me to record it. I now want to secure these two washers hard here with these two Jubilee clips. Jubilee clips. So that's so that this axle will not move that way. That clever, eh? Can you see that? No. So let's tighten this one up first. Now this is going to leave me with two trolleys. One, the first one you saw, is quite wide because I want the canoe to sit down on it, low. So I will say a low loader because when we take it out at Wineford, the canoe, onto the towpath of the canal, there's gates across the towpath which you can get the canoe, a low loader trolley, the canoe under. So I haven't had much choice but to make it low. Could make it high. This one could be made a bit higher. I want to use this one. But have to lift it over the gates at Wainford. Now that holds that on that side. Whereas if we do get to log 16 and we do have the strength left to make a way to Union Canal from log 16. It may be possible there to use this one, which is narrower, a bit lighter, but we'll have to set the canoe a bit higher. But we have only one gate to wonder, but that's quite a high one, we've checked it out. We'll do another test on them, perhaps uh, today if possible, but we're just about exhausted. At the moment we still don't have a canoe. We possibly might be able to borrow one from the club. South Kelvin Kayak Club. But uh, how's that? Safe and secure. Do it again. How's that? Safe and secure. Like it. Solid. So as I said, these are to transport the canoe around the locks and from lock 16 up to Union Canal. And here we're coming back, uh, back from Edinburgh to Glasgow, from the Union Canal back down to lock 16 on the Fourth and Clyde Canal. Um, and to take us round, as I said, the Wainford um, locks. So, I think I've covered them all for you. That was the axle. Wheels, Union um, Jubilee clips, a couple of washers either side, both wheels. Quite a simple way to do it. The wheels were taken off a bogey, pneumatic bogey. We then made a cut to size, a re platform, plot, if you want to call it. We then bored holes right along it, dead even, so we could then screw on our pipe clips. So that gives us a set different section as well. We'd also put on that these runners. These when we put the boat on will be used to tie the boat down onto to hold it firm so it won't go either direction. And they're quite strong as you can see the whole thing's quite strong and definitely a bit heavy. With that I thank you very much. I'd like to thank Liz the cameraman and uh, Planted a small trolley that I made. 
which I've got hidden, hidden down here, which I hope I can find. I think, I think I've hid it down here somewhere. I'm going to down try and find it. I've had a wee look, I couldn't find it, but I'm going to try again. I remember this bush here, and found it. Got it. Ah. Ah, I planked it, I found it, I'm keeping it. Some young ladies and gentlemen, look at it. Okay. What's that meant to be? You remember the one I made earlier? I set planted to wheel the, the canoe around the lock. a ladder you all laugh track. I now have a wheelbarrow made out of the ladders and the paddles. So keep laughing, but it's a lot easier this way. See you when we get there. No, I'm not going down the hill running. <laughs> Let's think about it. This is a lovely department. 